It is a major project for more than 50 years in the making, and now the largest college in the South Bay is finally getting its shovels ready. And this is our first look at the new renderings for Southwestern College's plan to expand. Covering the South Bay, 10 News reporter Joe Little has the group of students who say they may have been left out. It's lunchtime at Southwestern College. Chicken tenders, fries. Culinary arts student Kenya Bidrio is earning credit for her class by cooking in the school cafeteria. I want to be an executive chef and I want to have my own restaurant. She's also excited about this, Southwestern's plans to finally build on its corner lot. It's been nothing but dirt for 53 years. It's going to transform the district. This is our first look at the latest renderings of the college's new wellness center and pool complex planned for the corner. Southwestern Vice President Kathy Tyner says ground will be broken this summer. When that gets built, it will free up a pad for uh, the math, science and engineering centers. That facility will eventually replace Southwestern's current pool complex. It's going to provide uh, classroom and laboratory space for up to 10,000 students. But that won't include Vidrio and her culinary arts classmates, who say they feel cramped in the cafeteria, the only place to cook on campus. It's many people in here when I'm taking classes. So it gets a little rashy. There were plans to add new culinary arts classrooms on the corner lot. And that was scrapped and we started over. The school got wrapped up in a scandal where administrators accepted bribes from developers. Culinary arts was switched out when Southwestern went back to the drawing board. Our current plan is to put it in the student union building which is not one of the four buildings that we're working on right now, but it will be the next one after those four. Still giving hope to Bidrio and her classmates while the school works on something it's needed for 53 years. At Southwestern College, Joe Little, 10 News. Voters approved Proposition R in 2008, which gave the school $389 million to make these upgrades.